It probably tilts to about 120 degree hours, which is more than enough for our daily office work. Now, let's see what it looks like when paired with the Xingyue floating keyboard. That is, in its PC mode, it magnetically attaches on top. Officially, you're supposed to hold the keyboard with one hand and the tablet with the other. When we open it like this, it's at roughly this angle, the typical laptop angle we use daily. And here is the keyboard itself, just conveniently located there. And this is the touchpad. The feel of this touchpad is very similar to that of the MateBook X Pro. Its haptic feedback is very crisp, and no matter where you press, the response is uniformly consistent. When the device is powered off, you'll notice it can't be pressed down, since there's a vibration motor beneath. The feel is still outstanding. As for the keys, you can see they're quite large in size. It's a full-size keyboard. Basically, the function keys are half height, and the key feedback is excellent. And did you notice the four corners? They've thoughtfully been fitted with four small rubber pads to prevent, when you close it, it prevents the keyboard from scratching the screen. Plus, the base of the keyboard also features two small feet. They provide better support once extended. As an ultra lightweight device, its construction is really solid, whether it's the keyboard's C side, well, you could call it the A side, these parts are all metal and feel excellent. And the bottom surface, the very underside, is also made of high quality material. Feels very high end, uh, truly worthy of its ultra flagship positioning. The materials are really solid. Also, the bottom of the floating keyboard is also equipped with a USB-C port. That way, when charging, you don't have to fiddle with a long cable. Whether it's security or data transfer, both are higher. Now let's check out the thickness. This is in its two-in-one state. Then we'll detach it to show you how it's done. Just give it a firm tug and it comes off smoothly. This is tablet mode, so as you can see from the clean, uninterrupted display on the front, the device remains incredibly thin and comfortably portable for daily use. Next, I have to point out the difference between a Harmony OS 2-in-1 and a traditional Windows 2-in-1. I think the main distinction lies in the tablet experience. Although traditional Windows 2-in-1 tablets are called tablets, in daily use, very few people actually treat them exclusively as tablets, rather than as fully featured portable laptop replacements. Most people use them as laptops, and to be honest, their touch experience in tablet mode isn't outstanding. There are many Android tablets. Although they support some PC-like 2-in-1 modes for added flexibility, their actual day-to-day -day performance and user experience still falls far short of traditional notebook PCs. So Harmony OS's 2-in-1 has a clear advantage, whether in PC mode or tablet mode, the experience is quite good. Next, let's take a look at its system interface and interaction. I've just updated this Huawei MatePad Edge device to the most recent system version released globally online so that everyone can freely and immediately check out this revamped interface. It's the standard Huawei tablet interface that we know, with nothing significantly altered or revolutionized since the last update, basically entirely unchanged. Now let's open Tiansheng Planner. This is an app we frequently use on the tablet throughout our routines, and the handwriting experience it provides is incredibly smooth, responsive, and resembles writing on paper. Now let's switch to laptop mode. For proper setup, make sure to press and hold right here. Keep pressing the bottom tab until you feel a distinct snap indicating it's securely locked into place and then just fine tune its final position. Then quickly swipe across the trackpad with four fingers in the manner shown here to seamlessly transition into PC mode, enabling you to access the familiar desktop applications and interface elements in an instant. See, this is a fully standard Harmony OS PC interface. The dock search below and the control center in the bottom right are all the same. Plus, as you can clearly see, the device remains remarkably smooth and stable even during prolonged use. Now on this screen, let me demonstrate how professional software suites perform under standard test conditions. Like, the CapCut Pro interface is exactly the same as the CapCut 7C version in terms of layout, features, user experience, and overall functionality. And the same goes for the many other Harmony OS PC applications as well. For instance, when using the desktop edition of WPS Office on a Harmony OS laptop, its interface features performance are indistinguishable. If you create a blank template, you can see that the entire top toolbar is identical to the PC version. Let me show you the specs. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM. It comes with two TWI of storage. Once you see these specs, you know this two-in-one tablet is using a Harmony OS PC processor, not the usual phone or tablet processor. Its performance ceiling is very high and there should be a high-end addition with a fan. Now beside me is the, the Huawei MatePad Edge is currently undergoing a comprehensive system update, essentially operating at full load. And you can distinctly hear the fan's loud, persistent whirring noise emanating continuously from the device. It's extremely quiet. It's hard to imagine there's a fan inside. I haven't disclosed the exact number or size of the fans yet, and it's likely supported by some additional turbofan technologies. We'll save a more detailed review for after the official launch and share it with you then. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.